My name is Alex Cecilio, and I'm going to show you how to make ripped edges in Illustrator. So the first thing you want to do is go to your rectangle tool. Select that. Um, and so depending on what you're making, I'm, I'm going to show you how to make, a, make it look like a ripped piece of paper. You're going to want your colors to be kind of precise. Um, so I'm going to make a kind of yellowish tinted paper. And I like that color. So then I'm going to go down to this little number and I'm going to copy it, hit Command or Control C, and push OK. And then I'm actually going to go to my stroke, double click it, and then paste it in there. So that way your, your stroke and your fill are the same. And now I'm going to draw out my piece of paper. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to click it. And I'm actually going to, up here, this is going to tell me what my stroke looks like on the outside. So I'm going to click that, go to the left, um, and select under vector packs, grunge brushes, vector pack. And this uh, little window is going to pop up. So from there, what you're going to do is start playing around with um, your edges. So if you want like a ripped piece of paper effect, I'd recommend using these grunge brushes. And you can download a bunch of different brushes online. They have ripped paper brushes and stuff, but I definitely recommend doing it this way because it'll be more uh, true to what you're trying to make. Because there is a filter to, to make torn edges, but it kind of messes around with the color and you have to be really careful about that. So using um, the stroke uh, on the edge of your shape is almost always guaranteed to work the best. So, you know, like I said, just play around with your edges and eventually you'll probably get something kind of like this. And I'm actually gonna make it a little darker because um, you can't really see it all that well. So I'm gonna push OK. And there's your ripped edges. My name is Alex, and this is how you make ripped edges in Photoshop. Thank you.